Well, maybe. Yo, Chidori! How's your hand doing? <sighs> what the? There's no scar. Not even a mark? Maybe it wasn't that bad? <sighs> Say, Junpei. What do you do to make yourself feel alive? Uh, I don't know. Breathe, I guess? You know, I can't say I've ever thought about it. How about you, Chidori? Is that how you feel when you draw? I don't know. Most of these are just... scribbles. I don't really... understand myself. Oh. Huh. Hmm. To tell you the truth, there is one thing that makes me feel alive. It's when I sort of, uh, get to play the hero, I guess. In the darkest hour, unknown to all but a few, the chosen ones stand against the forces of evil. Our hero, Junpei, fights to protect the world from these terrifying monsters. <laughs> well, you get the idea. That's when I feel most alive. Um, this is the part where you're supposed to laugh. So, do you fight all alone? <laughs> hey, I was just kidding around. You fight during a time that no one is aware of, right? That means no one knows what you've been doing. So, you're fighting even though you'll never get any recognition for anything. I'm impressed. I guess I misjudged you. Uh, really? I didn't think you'd actually believe me. Can you tell me more? You know, you're kind of the weird one here. Hmm. I guess it's okay, but you're sworn to secrecy. Got it? Mm-hmm. So, there's this special power called a persona. And that's what we use to defeat the monsters. But not everyone can use a persona. That's what I meant by the Chosen Ones. My friends are fighting too. And, not to brag, but we haven't lost a single fight since I joined. Sounds like a lot of fun. If you haven't lost a single fight, that must mean you're really strong. <laughs> yeah, sort of. I guess you could kind of say I'm the leader. I mean, without me, things would just fall apart. I gotta tell everyone what to do and stuff, you know? It's a lot of work being in charge. Thank you, Junpei. I had a lot of fun today. Y you did? It's time for me to go. I'll see you tomorrow, right? See you tomorrow, huh? Yes! Sure, it's a deal. All done here? Come back soon. <laughs> You'll like the new stuff we got in stock. Which ones? The tanks! It's 
gonna be fall soon. It's easy to get some. You got everything you need? Come again, yeah? I'm sorry. this supposed to be? Why do you have this? Hmm. Oh, now I get it. Kirijo put you up to this. Typical. She always goes out of her way for the dumbest shit. Think for yourself for once. Don't just go along with what everyone asks. Gotta learn how to say no. This is how they ended up pushing the role of leader on you. We done? Get out of here. Hey. Thanks for going through all that trouble. Maybe I'll treat you to a meal sometime. What? You got a problem with that? I told you to get going. I already got plans. It doesn't matter. I'll be back by tonight. That's why I rejoined in the first place.
Man, Chidori wasn't at the station today. Maybe I should check again. Nah, on second thought. I better stay put. The operation's tonight. Hmm. The operation, huh? When it comes down to it? We're fighting to protect her, too. Wow. Thinking about it like that kind of fires me up. Maybe we really are, like, heroes of justice. All right! Don't move. Huh? Wait. That voice. Tonight marks the sixth full moon. Have you found the shadow? Yes. It's near Polonia Mall, I think. For some reason, I can't quite pinpoint its location. I'm trying to narrow it down, though. Is that part of its power? Sorry, I'm not really sure about that either. We have enough to go on. Amada, did you find him? No, I can't find Junpei-san anywhere. His backpack isn't here, so I don't think he's been home yet. What is he doing? He knows tonight's a full moon. I'm not picking up a signal anywhere near the dorm either. Should I take more time to look for him, just in case? No, it's okay. You're young. Sometimes you just get in one of those moods. For now, though, we need to focus our attention on the shadow. We can't afford to waste any more time. We need to get moving. Let's go. Hold up. Did Junpei say anything about this? Hmm. Maybe. Any luck? I only sense a faint presence. It seems so close, but I can't reach it. All right, we can split up and search for it. There's no time to lose, so let's hurry. Wait! Please, I can do it! This is what I'm here for! <sighs> Feel the movement of the Earth through your fingertips. Hear the answer of the wind flow through your hair. Taste the knowledge of the water on your lips. Tell me, Lucia, what shrouds me from the truth? Hey, is she okay? Don't break her concentration. This is... some kind of... web... beneath us? A web? Perhaps it's related to the old power cables underground. Back when the island was still being developed, this is where the main power station was located. Underground cables? Yes. A large number of power cables remain underground in a sprawling network, much like a web. So that's what's interfering with her ability? Thank you, I guess. I figured it out now. It's not that the cables are interfering. The cables themselves have been possessed by the Shadow! They what? So... everything under our feet is part of the Shadow. No wonder you couldn't pinpoint it. It's covering this entire area. H how are we supposed to beat something like that? <sighs> Riding underground, huh? I can't believe how easy it was to sneak up on you. Is the rest of your team this oblivious? <laughs> Damn it! I can't fight back like this! This isn't funny, Chidori. I want you to do something for me. I have orders for you to pass along to your team. You can at least communicate with them, can't you? My team? Orders? 
Do as I say, and you won't be harmed. All you have to do is call off your operation. Easy, right? And not just the one tonight. All of them. You want me to cancel the operation? No way. You're not one of them, are you? Quit wasting time. <sighs> so the Shadow controls a whole underground network? This is a problem. We have no means of attack. Your notes from previous battles mentioned a Shadow that was able to take control of the monorail. I'm guessing this Shadow must have its own body, just like that one. Let me see if I can pinpoint it. <sighs> Luca. Even if we know where it is, we still have to get to it. If it's abandoned, there may still be a way to enter the facility where the cables converge. We'll see. underground it's rectangular so I assume it's man-made is it some sort of basement wait a minute I overheard the manager of escapade a while back he was saying the power supply has been acting up lately there was a big outage because of it that forced him to cancel some important event an outage yeah mentioned they remodeled the basement into a control room a while ago Maybe we should take a look. That's gotta be it! Good job, Yamagishi. Alright, as soon as we're ready, we'll make our move. feeding into its body, so it might use electricity to attack. Please, be careful! This large shadow's arcana is the hermit! Huh? Watch out for attacks that use electricity! So I'm still setting up! Oh. It'll take a little more time! Woo! 
this enemy? What's next?
Persona's ready. I need your help! Nemesis! earlier. He's back at the dorm, but something fell off. The chairman's there too, so he should be okay, but we should hurry back, just in case. Hmm. It looks like they've completed their operation. What? You can tell? I see it. Through Mazia's eyes. Madea? My... friend. Hidori? That's not important. Why didn't you call off the operation? Is your mission worth your life? Dying is what people fear the most, is it not? Well... I have never actually given anyone orders before. They wouldn't listen to me. Even if I tried. You see, uh, I'm not really the one in charge. So, you were lying earlier? Why? I don't understand. Hey, 
Can you tell me one thing? Was it all just an act? Huh? The way we met at the station, that cut on your hand, the drawings. Were you just setting me up? Now that I think about it, a real cut wouldn't have disappeared that fast. <laughs> I see how it is. That was... Junpei! They're back already? An evoker? She's a persona user? Medea, come. Shinori, no! Uh. Senpai, her evoker! <laughs> no! Give it back! Sorry, but we can't let you use this. What's all the fuss of... What? When did she... I guess, restrain her. Understood. Medea! I... I didn't even sense her until now. This is the only thing I can do, and yet... Even we couldn't sense her. She must have the ability to conceal her presence. I certainly didn't have the slightest clue she was here. I have a number of questions for you. Are you a member of that group called Strega? Uh, I'm not... afraid... of dying. Shidori? Medea, I'm... It looks like she's too emotionally unstable for an interrogation. Let's check in on her later, after she's had some time to calm down. I'll go ahead and arrange a hospital room for her. She'll have to be placed under watch, but I'm sure she understands. Shidori. I'll ask you one more time. Is Chidori your real name? <sighs> what kind of organization is Strega? Are there others besides you three? <sighs> hey! Wait, Junpei! You're not supposed to be here, remember? Chidori! Junpei! <sighs> Sorry. He wouldn't stop asking about where she was. How are you feeling? Looks like you calmed down now. <sighs> she certainly has. In fact, she won't say a word. Maybe we should confiscate her sketchbook, too. Come on, you don't have to go that far. Taking that away isn't gonna make her talk. I'm not so sure. She was quite upset when we took her evoker. Speaking of which... Where did you get your hands on that? Medea. Give it back to me! I want her back! Hey, didn't I tell you not to bring that up? What else am I supposed to do? I'll have someone else try next time. Why? Why did you take her from me? Dia. Takeba, call a nurse. We're done for today. I'll let Ikutsuki-san know we're having difficulties. Oh, okay. Come on, Junpei. Let's go. Chidori. What happened to you? It's a I'm good. Good. Not... Thanks, kid. But...
starting to settle down, I think. Thank you for coming. It's comforting to have someone with me. Why do I have to face this alone? Why am I the one? I can't run around like I did as a child anymore, because my legs and heart won't even let me. All that's left is to draw my sheets around me and count the beats of my heart until they stop forever. Why is this only happening to me? <laughs> of course not. No one could. I don't even know. I mean, I understand the reason I'm dying, but what even is the meaning of it? There isn't any meaning to life that I can find, so perhaps I'm not missing all that much. I wish I could run away, but if my body were capable of that, I wouldn't be here anyway. No matter what I do, my body is there to remind me I'm going to die. Why? Why me? Just yet. It's almost too much for me if I'm alone. <sighs> yes. But I'd still like to talk for just a little longer. I'm feeling a little better now. Thank you. I'm looking for... Here are my requests. Very well, then. Oh, I'm sorry. I... I'm still a little scared. 
but maybe I'll be okay with this one. Um, I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time. I'll see you at school then. Morning. Yeah. Let's just hope you can... Once you start something, you gotta see it through to the end. I only dabbled in this back when I was a kid, but... No problem. No, stop I'm talking to. That should do it. This kind of work is usually... Let's head back and wash your hands.
looks like Chidori still ain't back yet. I get it's her own fault for running off on her own, but she's still one of us, you know? We gotta help her somehow. Don't be impatient, Jin. If she hasn't yet freed herself, that must mean her evoker was taken. Our first objective must be to retrieve it. It would mean nothing to free Chidori without it. For us, our persona is as precious as our very lives. We should wait for an opportunity. They've found their own. Without Chidori, we'd only be playing into their hands. Yeah, sorry I lost my cool there for a second. But what are we gonna do? They took down that shadow during the last full moon like it wasn't. They got someone who can predict our moves. It'll be hard to catch him off guard. <sighs> By the way, what is that thing? It looks like some kind of clunky evoker. This is one of the first evokers ever developed. I suppose you could call it a prototype. Oh, that's right. You've never seen this before, have you, Jin? <laughs> this was truly a terrible piece of work. In exchange for drawing out the full extent of a persona's latent power, the cost is that they become especially for those who had their power to a persona that has lost control. In those days, it was more commonplace to be killed by our own personas than by the shadows. This was the result of one such killing. I am a shadow, the true self. <laughs> Regardless, I'm not one to dwell on the past. So, that's why you don't use an evoker? Hardly. The real reason is far more practical. I don't use one because I have no need. I don't require something as inelegant as a tool to prove my resolve. You really are something special, Takaya. Yet, there is always someone out there who is even greater. Such as... One who can wield multiple personas. Ah, am I feeling attachment for someone? <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Such a thought is beneath me. What do you think, Yamagishi? Do you sense anything? No. <sighs> By refusing to speak, you're only hurting yourself. We aren't trying to keep you hostage. We just want to avoid unnecessary confrontation. How's Shidori? You're back again? Why are you so hung up on her, Junpei? Did she say anything? Not a word. Let me talk to her. Yori, you're getting really emotionally invested in this. Is everything all right? Well, I know she attacked me, but I don't know. I, I just can't get her out of my head. Please, let me do this. Call for desperate measures, I suppose. All right, see if you can get through to her. Got it. You okay? <sighs> I'm glad they let you keep your sketchbook. Wow, you're still drawing pictures? Even in the hospital? You really do like to draw, huh? It doesn't matter. 
She spoke to him. Only I can understand my drawings. Wait, Chidori, you're on. It's bleeding. Duh, not again. Yamagishi, get the doctor. All right. What happened? Why are you bleeding? She does it to herself. I thought I took all the sharp objects in here. She did this to herself? Apparently, we can't leave her unattended for even a moment. But at the very least, she seems to heal at an astonishing rate. Let, let go of me! Then, that cut on your hand back at the station, you did that to yourself? I never asked for you to worry about me. You are the one who jumped to conclusions. Well, I want you to stop. You can't be doing that. I'm not just saying this because I'm worried about you. I don't want to see you hurting yourself. All right? The doctor will be here soon. You should head back. Right. So, you seem to have found your voice.
Jim were so scary. I thought I was gonna die. Thanks for helping me, mister. Right. Thank you too, Koromaru. And I brought them here. I knew where to find Koromaru all along. I heard from the priest. He said Koromaru would be at the shrine gate, looking after all the people in town. So, even though he found a new spot, he's still protecting us? I knew it! Kuramaru is this town's watchdog! Oh! Are you Kuramaru's new owner? Is there really a difference? Well, as long as he's happy. Uh-oh. You better get home soon. Whoa! You're right! Okay, see you guys later! Can I help you? With me? You aren't... If so, thank you, but I'm totally fine. It must... Thanks for going out of your way to check on me. I'll do my best not to worry you. Well then, good night. Ugh. Come to think of it, I haven't had dinner yet. I should probably eat something. <sighs> um, Senpai? You wouldn't happen to be hungry, would you? Welcome! Take any open seat. <sighs> He's not here. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Sorry for asking you to go out all of a sudden. I just wanted someone to come with me. But it's a little intimidating going to get food by myself. People tend to stare when they see an elementary school kid like me out on his own. Your order? Two specials coming right up. Seems like that's the thing to get, huh? Thanks for ordering. So, I saw some people from our dorm stop by here a while back. Like, Sonata-san, and that guy who recently joined. Aragaki-san. Do you come here with them, too? What kinds of things do you talk about? Oh, sorry for asking something so weird. I just thought I should know a bit more about everyone, since we'll be fighting together from now on. But it's good either way, because I've always wanted to have a proper chat with you. Everyone in the dorm is amazing. 
but you're on a completely different level. I can't believe how many personas you're able to use. Here you are. Ikutsuki-san and Mitsuru-san said that each person normally has only one persona, and that it doesn't change. That means what I saw back then was really... Uh, it's nothing. Sorry. Shall we eat? Oh, I finished all the soup, too. I'm stuffed. Phoenix Ranger Featherman R, the melancholy of Swallow, will air this winter as a TV special. Huh? Wow! A spinoff with Swallow as the main character! I gotta make sure I record that! Watch it every week without fail. But this TV special is big news. Swallow doesn't usually make much of an impression, but there's a theory that he's actually stronger than Hawk. Uh, I uh, heard that from a friend. TV shows like that seem to be popular in my class. I only watch them so I have something to talk about. <laughs> anyway, it's been a while since I've enjoyed a meal like this. I guess it's because I'm eating with you. You're really easy to talk to. And the ramen was delicious. Maybe next time we can... <sighs> um, it's nothing. It's getting late. We should start heading back. It was delicious. No, this food was not delicious. Don't let yourself think like that. Hey, Amara. You on your way home? Mm, us too. We just finished eating dinner. Oh, are you from the same class, Amada-kun? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Oh yeah, Amada, you gotta join next month's soccer tournament. We've all been waiting- I'll have to pass. I'm not even sure if I could make it next month. Aw, oh, come on, we can't win without you. You're better than all of us. You can't pressure someone like that. Can't you see you're bothering him? I'm sure amata has a lot going on. Isn't that right? Oh, no, it's fine. I'm sorry. Please excuse us. You should hurry home too, amata -kun. Home. Come on, let's get going. Your grandma is waiting for us. Fun, Mom! If Amata doesn't <sighs> sorry join about us, that. we're gonna get <sighs> No, it's not that. I just have enough to do. The second semester has already started, and we have to go to Tartarus at night. I know we'll be going through a lot from now on, so I decided to not make any promises. More importantly, sorry for keeping you out so late. Let's make our way back to the door.
good day. I shall be. I shall be. Very well then. Good day. Are you accepting a request? Very well. I'll be waiting then. Are you accepting a request? Do you see anything achievable? Well, I'll be waiting. Very well.
too fragrant. Roses aren't really my thing. Maybe... Gerberas? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm redecorating my room and was thinking of getting some flowers to go with it. I think I'll go with the Gerberas. What color do you think I should get? <laughs> you think so? I like pink too. I guess we have the same taste, huh? Then it's decided. I'll get these. Hmm. Come to think of it, Herberas by themselves might be a little plain. What other flowers do you think would look nice? Oh, wait, you've never seen my room, have you? <laughs> well, then why am I even asking you? <laughs> to be honest, any flowers would be fine if they were from you. Just kidding. <laughs> wow, look at the time. Gosh, what should I get? I'm actually a pretty indecisive person. Hmm. A ranunculus wouldn't be bad either. I've been waiting for you. Oh my! Are you accepting a request? Come to think of it. By all means. Very well. Attention, please. So...
Don't call me that. Come on, lighten up. Here, I brought you a new sketchbook. I thought your old one might be getting full. I don't remember asking you to do that, Junpei. <laughs> you finally called me by my name. I wasn't sure if you'd ever say it again. She finally started talking, but she hasn't said anything useful so far. Well, it's a start. More of a response than we got from her. So, why are you here? <coughs> Shidori? What's wrong? What is that? There's something right there! An enemy? Wrong! Move! <gasps> Shinori! Relax. Her persona just went berserk. It happens. It... happens? Weren't you guys watching? You could see her persona strangling her for a second. They're not like us. They can't fully control their personas. That's why they need to take suppressants. To keep their personas from killing them. Suppressants? Wait, do you know something about Strega? Some things you only pick up stepping off the straight and narrow. I'll give the duck the meds I have. The rest is up to you. Shinji, wait! Hey! Uh, I. Junpei? You're gonna die. What do you mean? Why do you look so scared? Death is nothing to be afraid of. What are you talking about? Dying just means you won't wake up tomorrow. That's all. What the hell are you saying? You don't really mean that, do you? Junpei? I don't want that. You hear me, Chidori? I don't want you to die. Junpei. It doesn't matter if you're not afraid. That's not the point. I don't want to have to live in a world without you. <laughs> you're so weird, Junpei. <laughs> Look who's talking. Dang, wait! Shinji! <sighs> What the hell's going on? Why did you have those suppressants? <sighs> I've heard about what they do. They're taken to rein in a persona when the user can't control it. But the side effects... <sighs> You're not taking them, are you? <sighs> Answer me! I don't have to tell you shit. Why are you always like this? Save it. I've heard it all before. You think I'm wasting my power. You can't stand the sight of someone so half-assed, right? I'm sick of your damn preaching. <laughs> shit. You don't understand at all. You should already know. Ten years ago, when the orphanage burned down, I couldn't save my sister. Back then, I wasn't strong enough to get past the adults holding me back to even try. <sighs> That's why I try so hard. I thought you felt the same way. We promised each other to become strong enough to do what we think is right. So why? Why'd you start taking those drugs without telling me? I'm back in the fight now. I have no reason to suppress my persona anymore. So just let it go. Damn it. And the side effects. Hmm. There's something I need to take care of. It's something only I can do. I gotta take responsibility. What do you mean? Listen. 
Quit worrying about me. Just do what you think is right. Got that? Shinji. What do you want to do now? Karaoke? Mom. Hmm? Mommy! Where are you? <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Are you lost? Mommy told me to wait here. And, uh, uh, she gave me money, but... <laughs> <laughs> She's not going back. <laughs> hey, don't cry. See, you're okay now. I'll stay here with you, all right? Hey, look. We can get help over there. Come on, follow me. The policeman will know what to do. He'll find your mom, so don't worry. <sighs> what a relief. I'm glad he was able to contact the parents. What were they thinking leaving that poor kid all alone? Stuff like that really makes me upset. But I guess my own mom's no different. Why do you want to know? Sorry, I didn't mean to poke fun at you. Remember what I told you before? How my mom and I aren't very close? Well, if you ask me what kind of parent she is, I'd say, a terrible one. She wasn't always like that, though. After what happened to Dad, she totally changed. She's probably living with one of her boyfriends somewhere. Honestly, I'd rather not know. Anyway, I'm done talking about this, okay? Uh, could we keep this between you and me? You're the only one I've told. Let's go home. Hello, this... I'm calling and it seems that I thought it... Well then. Oh, it's you.
Oh, hey. See ya. See ya. Sit down. I'm gonna look out, Batches, straining my neck. So, you wanted to see where adults spend their time, huh? Not that I can't relate. Well, don't worry. Two or three more years, you'll be old enough to hang out here unsupervised. Just take it easy, kid. You'll be legal before you know it. No need to rush. Trying to act like an adult just makes you look more like a kid, you know? <laughs> well, I guess that sounds funny coming out of an alcohol drinking cigar smoking monk, huh? <laughs> well, some people like it. So I guess it is? Probably. I have no idea. I just drink to get drunk. When you get drunk, it makes you feel good. Young people always think the grass is greener on the other side. Well, don't get your hopes up too high, kid. That way, you won't be disappointed when things don't work out. Because there might come a time when you'll have to drink when you don't want to, and smoke just to get through the day. You're nothing like those punks I see running around town these days. <laughs> I'd say the same for my son, though. Always being taken in by the police for questioning. It's disgraceful. I'm gonna remember your face, kid. Next time you come in here, I'm gonna have you thrown out. Got it? <laughs> uh, that... Morning. Yeah. Okay. 